Yeah. It always makes me jump, that does. <laughs> what going on? What's seen yourself? You see myself, yeah. You know, sort of, it, well, it sort of goes whoosh, doesn't it? <laughs> you think, wow. Yeah. So, um, hello, everybody. And hello, well, Georgie welcome. Connolly. Yes, you were first. Tom Vlogs. Hi, John oh, Burr. Yes. Johnny John. Burr. Whoosh. Johnny Burr, yeah. Bob Earnshawn. Oh, yeah. After, I'm here. Every afternoon, everyone. Steve Carla. Hi, guys. Jeff Scott. Afternoon, Bob. Jason Fomley's on tour. Afternoon, guys. Johnny Burr. Hi, Bob. Gavin Blanford. Hi, Bob. K9 <laughs> Motromers. Afternoon, all. Volkswagen Adventures with Lisa and Phil. Hello, Bob and Jason. Oh. Cutting fire again, didn't we? Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. We've got some special guests coming on later, haven't we? So I'm looking forward to that. We have, yeah. I'm having to do a daily blood pressure check, you know, and I think it's it must be this doing this live or something. A daily blood pressure check? Yeah, or twice daily. Well, it's it, it, a little bit of a story. You know the eye operation that I fainted in? So I go to the doctors and say, um, I'm going to get some um, – Valium, and she says, "No, we don't give Valium out. We have to do blood pressure checks and uh, take blood and all that." So I've given blood today, right? And uh, so every day I'm doing a blood pressure check now. So that's what I've been up to today. And if everything's all right, they might let me do my eye operation if I'm really and, a good good boy. And how's your blood pressure today? It's fine, 130 over. What was it, 71? So it's it's high for you know because it's I'm an older person. But that seems pretty normal. Just looking at your channel early on, Bob, you lost about 3,000 subscribers here. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so what well, have you been up to then? Go on. You, you go first. Me first? Yeah, go um, on. I'm trying to get ready for opening on April the 12th. Yeah. So, a lot so going I'm trying on to, yeah, trying to get some bands all done. Get them ready. Get them on the internet. Um, the first, you know, I've had a break from YouTube. We've just also been doing this the lives, the lives, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this Monday, the first Motor Roman Camper Van vlog goes out right. behind the scenes of HQ. You yeah. get to see us trying to fix things, yeah. basically how the day goes, yeah. um, different things of what we get up to. Right. Um, so I've, been, I've enjoyed doing that, Bob, because it's nice and easy. You can just pick up the GoPro, yeah. And then and you point. take it with you, and you just put it on time lapse. Yeah. The only problem yeah. is, is you have to do the job properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll get lots of people. You should do it that way. <laughs> Bobby, That's also not been how doing, I do it. Also been doing this week is washing vans off. Yeah, and it took me ages because I've had to do every bit. All oh, these little bit there, I need to get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's quite good. And then the, this Wednesday, it'll be the first motor and will be going up onto YouTube. Yeah, um, that we've got for sale. Um, I'm not going to tell you what motor it is. It's going to no, be the no. first one. So we'll do a review of it. It'll then go up onto the website. It'll go over onto Auto Trade and the other platforms. And then yeah. Friday, the second motor will go up. So we'll be doing a vlog on a Monday. And two vans that we're selling will be going up Wednesday, Friday. So we're up to three right. times a week. That's from okay. So week. we can have a look. We can have a look at that then, if um, you want to, next, Bob. Next next week, yeah. Or if this you want week. to, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've even got a bit okay. of micro of each van as well. Content. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can have a have a look there. Yeah. Um, See if we can catch up. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed doing these vlogs, um, Bob. Yeah, like yeah. Say, yeah. Hi, Robin Lynn. All right. Hi, Robin Lynn. Ha happy holidays. <laughs> Hi, guys. Bob, still love your omelette-making vlog. <laughs> I made an omelette today, actually, didn't I? Very and it was nice. very nice, yeah. 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 Hmm. Hi, Bob and Jenny. Have you ever, ever made a video for when you have just brought your first motor home, i.e. cost of setting up and running costs? Yeah, we, we weren't videoing when we had our first motor home, but we did make a video when we bought this current motor home, and we did went through all the uh, going over there, dropping the old van off, picking the new one up, and uh, a look around it. So have a look for that on the channel. Um, what type of motor home are the most popular so far this year? Oh, wow. Any motor home you can buy at the moment. Uh, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find one, yeah. <laughs> uh, and there we go. We've got Daddy News. I so, both from Sunny Stoke. Another Stoke here. Yes. We always stick yeah. together. Yeah. And then we've got Hi Bob and Jason from Sunny Tunisia. That's Peter wow. Chilton. Wow. Tunisia. Yeah. Lovely. Hi, guys. As you know, you're allowed to travel anywhere from March the 29th. Are you allowed to do a pub stopover? Well, pubs aren't open. No, so the pubs don't open till outside on the twelfth. Outside on the twelfth, I think they're allowed. Yeah, 
Hmm. Everything's more or less at the 12th. Well, gearing to the 12th, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So I suppose if you get hold of the landlord, yes, you could do that. Robin Lynn just wondered, Bob, if you've ever had the if you've had the recall yeah. on your Contiki. Yeah, perhaps I've just mentioned that. Um, yeah, we've had the recall on the steering knuckle, I think it's called. Uh, yeah. I've bu booked it in, but I couldn't get an appointment until the end of June. They've got hundreds of vans waiting to be done. Right. Yeah, and uh, it's well, it's not it's not essentially um, what's the word? It's not a danger, if you like. It's it's they've got to look at it, but. That's that's a go. Scotland not open till the English. Yeah, that's right. I spoke to you the other day. You were having a fight with your van, weren't you, with some decals? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have a video there somewhere, don't I? Not another video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what I've been doing, I've, what I've been up to mainly this week is we, you know, the caravan ID. I, I did a video on caravan yeah. ID. Well, they've we've, they've updated the stickers. They're much better stickers now. So of course you've got to take off the old stickers. So I spent about oh, about two days taking the old stickers off and putting the new stickers on. So I'm, I'm wondering what sort of interesting video that might make. <laughs> Me scraping away at the stickers, and I've got a hairdryer, upper ladder hairdryer, and trying to get these stickers off. So, well, if you use tar and glue, it wouldn't be a very long video. No. <laughs> WD forty actually works to get the the, um, the residue off, so that was quite good. Yeah, tile and glue is the best thing to use. Yeah, right. Yeah. I should have um, to you, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for, Bob. Yeah, wealth, wealth of knowledge. <laughs> well, right. not a wealth, more like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, your motorhomes and your drivers. Each I've got a yeah. note here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And what videos have you done? What videos? Right, yeah, we've got videos coming up. Recent recent videos, we've had the Epic Drive um, Harris to Sky, and this is the one that Jenny edited, yeah, which was your first editing um, and a bit of a joint effort. But we also got the top 13 Scottish Caravan uh, club sites, which went out Wednesday. That was Jenny on her, her, on her own. That's had some fantastic feedback, by the way. Um, and with Throwback Thursday, we did with our little Bailey Compact. Coming up, we've got um, uh, the video. The first video is Motone Basics on Tires, and that's. And I know you did a tires video. I've done a tires video as well. So that's video. Well, one. Yeah. The legal <laughs> tread depth is one point six millimeters. The law requires that you have a minimum tread depth in a continuous band around the central three quarters of the tire and to help you judge how much tread you have left on your tires manufacturers will often mold tread bars in the tires at roughly 1.6 millimeters i would strongly suggest that you change your tires before it gets anywhere near those tread bars the motor industry research association say that once you're below three millimeters on your tires the stopping distance of your vehicle is going to be dramatically increased. Age is more of an important factor with motorhomes, and also you need to check if there are blisters, cuts, or grazes, or cracks starting to appear in your tire. Yeah, that just do you, do you hear the sirens going in the background when I was saying Yeah, that? I kept looking around thinking, <laughs> can't be me. Yeah, um, uh, the, the other video we got coming is the top. 12. No, it no, it's not a song. Is it's by mask. It's it's what? It's me mask. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> it made me laugh that day. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Bob. What's the sorry. next one? I'm just saying we've got the top 12 Scottish other sites. So they're they're non-caravan and motor club, mainly camping and caravanning club. And Jenny's done all of that as well. So hopefully all, all on her own. Yeah, well done. Do you want me to show you this? Go on, just a little bit then. <laughs> Music was a bit loud, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was doing that. <laughs> yeah. 
What, that, was, that, that was Glen Coe. That's good for the blood pressure, that is. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's it for the videos at the moment. Yeah, we're working on coming out storage videos still. A um, couple of product reviews coming up. So, yeah, lots going on. Okay. Um, Johnny Burr's got one for you. How about a video on the basic kit you will need when first getting a motor before your first trip? Yeah, yeah, we sort of we sort of did that with Motorhome Essentials uh, accessories, but it might be worth updating that at some stage. So not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, the best video. Here we go. The best video, without a doubt, was Jenny cutting Bob's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just completely thrown out your other three hundred and ninety-nine right. videos of going all around the country. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I ought to do one. Me cutting Jenny's hair. That'd be even no. better. No, she said no. <laughs> right. Um, what else have we got, Bob? Um, We've got trips planned, haven't you? Know. We've got some trips planned, Bailey. yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, we've got a few trips planned. Um, we've got a Southwest tour in May. We've got a Dorset and Hampshire tour in June, a Norfolk tour in July, and in September we're hoping to get up to uh, up to Scotland. Now, we're really hoping that we can arrange a loan of one of the Baileys, you know, like we did before where we borrowed a Bailey, working on Bailey to try and borrow the Bailey Adamo. So if anyone's in touch with Bailey, give them a... <laughs> give them a poke because we're hoping that we can take the Bailey Adamo up to Scotland. I think that would be brilliant. Right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we, we've got, so we've got that coming up. It's just about two weeks to go now, isn't it? Before we can actually get away. And right. we're, we're just planning on going to a, a site we're familiar with, which is Ashridge Farm and at Ashwell, hopefully just to sort of get, make things sure, make sure things are working. Um, you know, it's about two, uh, two. Well, <laughs> it's about a year, isn't it, that um, our next guests were in Denmark and they got stuck on a campsite that was going to be their next stop for about ninety days. So I think that's an appropriate time to introduce next stop everywhere, isn't it? You're getting good at this, Bob, aren't you? I nearly mucked it up, didn't I? <laughs> you did, huh? <laughs> Claire, Claire, what? Look there, through the trees. What is it? Oh my god. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. I officially look like a Wally. I can speak good. You can yeah. speak good. They're not small cows, they're just very far away. You, uh, you look like you're ready for the weather. It's a bit cold. <laughs> I just want to smother it in cream. Well, <laughs> Stirling Castle is a sterling day out. And I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Sam. Hello, I'm Claire. Hello. You never said that before. Uh, so we got what, what's the name on here? Uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, he says, 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 says to be early. Yeah. Sorry, not no, but he says to be early. He says Jason. He's something I've just thrown together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It kind of what it kind of was. It, it wasn't. Was, it wasn't yeah. a big effort. It was no. just like no, it's it's good. the things we we did. We did so much traveling. We did so much video. And the the hardest bit, and it's probably the same with you, Bob. The hardest bit is going through and finding the stuff that actually yeah. works really well because there's so much footage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you did an astonishing amount of filming. I mean, what what was sort of uh, throwing me earlier is how many subs have you got at the moment? Uh, two thousand. We just passed two thousand two hundred. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's astonishing that you haven't got th thousands more subs. That's yeah. very kind of you. Yeah, and if anyone's watching this, please subscribe to Next Stop Everywhere. <laughs> the videos are brilliant. We, we watch them all the time. You know, I, the adventures you did were amazing. It was considering, and the one thing we always say is, considering there was a pandemic on, we yeah. we managed to have quite an adventure. We did. Yeah. Um, yeah. We feel we feel very privileged that we were still able to travel as we did. And I think I think in fairness, the the you know, and it sounds really weird, but the pandemic kind of made our adventure because we had this big plan uh, yeah. to go. We were going to go. We were taking the van to Iceland, weren't we? Yeah. On the ferry, so from the top of Denmark, Hertzschulz, you can catch the ferry. To Iceland, and we were going to take the van. And then, as we arrived into Europe, that was when the first lockdowns were announced. Yep. Yeah. So we kind of we headed for Denmark to get to the ferry. And then, when we got to Denmark, as you mentioned before our little video, that's when the lockdown happened. So we ended up camped out in Denmark for. Yeah. Uh, we were taken in by a British family. A British family for ni lovely. ninety-two days. We yep. were there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Den Denmark looked amazing. It really oh, did. It's beautiful. It's, we, it yeah. is really, people tend to go through it on the way to Norway but don't actually explore it it's a beautiful yeah. country and the people are so friendly and like we were we were heading through it just to get on the ferry to Iceland and we ended up being there for eff effectively like four months we yeah we've made the end. we've made lifetime friends as well and we just yeah. adored it it's a, it's a beautiful beautiful country um yeah I, I mean I'd recommend it highly uh, and for touring as well in terms of motorhomes there's lots of sites um they have their own version of the brit stop scheme called pin trip yep. um, yeah. so you can go and stay with like you know on farms or breweries or things like that um mm. which we used which was also awesome as well yep it's a yeah. really amazing place yeah, I just thought when after watching your videos, I really want to get along that Baltic coast. It looks fantastic. You know, yeah. Latvia and Estonia. What was your favourite country? Did you have one? Or, uh, you know what? That's it's funny. It's, whenever whenever yeah. people talk to us, that's what they say. Oh, what's yeah. your favourite? Yeah. It's so difficult yeah. to choose. So, I mean, we did love the the Baltic countries. We really loved it, but that was the biggest surprise for us was the Baltic states. So Lithuania, yeah. Latvia, and Estonia. Mm. They're I mean they're they're just absolutely beautiful nations um, and just lovely people. Uh, everything's everything's yeah. relatively accessible and cheap. The cities there's, are. There's no language safe. barrier because they pretty right. much all speak English. Yeah, it was it was quite something that, and then I think Slovenia as well. Yes, yeah. I mean I know, a lot of people rave about Slovenia, and rightly so. It's just yeah. absolutely. It's, it's so set yeah. up for motorhoming. They've got so many free stopovers with free free fresh water, waste disposal, toilet disposal, free electric, as well. and free electric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it was it was fantastic. I mean, you, you, I mean, you struggle with the pronunciation. We struggle with the the Scottish pronunciation. <laughs> some the of those thing, places. It's the one thing we, we get always, in the comments, isn't it? We it's always like, apologise yeah. before we try. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. We yeah. try. But then in the comments, we get usually get a lot of people from those particular countries saying yeah. either "Hey, you nailed it," or "You completely killed it." Yeah, that's right. I think it's always funnier when you kill it, isn't it? Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, we've chatted a few times, haven't we, Sam and Claire? <clears throat> we have. We've been, loved being on the Motorhome Show. It's great. Well, no, the, the Motorhome the and, Caravan, and show. Caravan Show now. We love being is, on it. It's, yeah, great Which fun. is on this Sunday at 7.30. <laughs> it's good with the club. It's good with the club. Do you know what we've got this Sunday? We've got a chef on, a camping chef, yeah. who's got to cook three meals, breakfast, dinner, and tea on the show. Wow. They're doing live booking on the show. I mean, this is it's just like sort this of going to be live, but it's not going to be live. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> wait, oh, wait, shame, wait. shame, yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll see. Yeah. And then we've also got um, Extreme Motor Homing are going to be um, reviewing a campsite, and we're going to have a special guest on there. But my shameless plug there, going back <laughs> to it, we chatted a few times, haven't we? We followed your journey as well, haven't yeah. we, really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's it like being a, a campsite warden now? I mean, it's completely different from what you were doing. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, you that's... told me thunder then. I was going to lead oh, into that. Well, you led me to it. <laughs> so now, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on. So, so now you're finished. Where, you, where are you now? So we, uh, we well, basically, we, we kind of wanted to carry on traveling, but with the, uh, the pandemic as it is, um, uh, and other factors, we thought, you know what, actually, it's probably a good time to just pause and take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Um, so we thought, well, ha we want to keep living in our van because we love our motorhome, as you guys know. Um, and we wanted to keep doing something that kept us within the sort of caravan and motorhome community. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we uh, we thought, well, we, we put out a few feelers for campsite jobs, didn't we? We did, yeah. Um, and then we, but just before Christmas, we applied to the caravan and motorhome club. Yep, and we are now... Our full job title is assistant, assistant site managers 
um, network, network support. support. So, so we're, we're sort of roaming wardens as such. We are essentially, we are assistant site managers. So we are the junior sort of site managers. Uh, we're based on which where we are living right now. Uh, at Troutbeck Head, which is up in yeah. the northern part of the Lake District, one, one uh, of our Cal favourite sites. It's, it's, I mean, we love it. It's absolutely stunning. It's very, about, very quiet know, at the moment. Equidistant yeah. between Penrith and Keswick, isn't it? Mm. It's a beautiful yeah. place, but and not our, far from Windermere. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, but our network support role uh, is basically making us cover. So if there's any other assistant site managers in our region that can't work for whatever reason we get sent to their site to cover their jobs. Yep, so that could be for a week, um, a few months, or it could be a permanent. But it just... It, I, tell I, you what, that's not a bad gig, is it? Yeah, it's good. I mean, we love it. It's, it's, you know, we'd never, we'd never even thought of coming into something like this. And then no. um, when we came back from Europe, we... Uh, because of the lockdown and things like that, we didn't. We we moved back in temporarily with my parents, didn't we? Did, we? Yeah. And it was one of their friends that suggested to us, "Well, you know, why don't you guys look at campsite wardening?" And it mm -hmm. kind of spiraled from there. Now, now we're uh, what, like three weeks into the job? A bit longer than that, isn't it? I don't know. And what, but on the countdown, as everybody is on the countdown to the twelfth of April. Yes. Yeah. What was Our the bookings there? Sorry, go. Sorry. Our bookings there, Sam. Uh, I think we're. I think from what I know, we're pretty. We're pretty full. Yeah, the weekends. The you can't. You can't. You can't get in up on weekends now for I think the next three months. We're pretty. We're we're ready. We're, and, and we're ready to go. Um, but yeah, we're, it's pretty pretty busy. The club I think is expecting uh, a really good season, and we're mm -hmm. hoping that we have a really good season as well. And you know, it'd be great to see lots of people back out on the sites again. Yeah. What skills do you need to be awarded? Yeah. Um, well, you don't, to be honest. It, it, we can, we can do it. <laughs> it's a job that. What appeal... training did you get? That, that was the question I was going to ask. It's a very similar question. What, so, what so obviously, the, the, the beautiful thing about a warden job is you have that combination of uh, customer service. So, yep. you know, uh, dealing with members and the public, and then also the sort of maintenance side and of it as well. Side, yeah. um, so, it's very much a kind of you need a bit of a background in customer service, but you also need a bit of a background in some form of practical skills. Um, so really all you need is basic IT skills and to be physically fit. Yeah, and I think the reason the club particularly like the look of us is because I've got a lot of uh, office background from the job I've done and you used to be a professional gardener didn't yeah, you? Yeah I was a gardener for over 10 years so yeah. so that's why they kind of snapped us out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to admire all the all the planting now. At, uh, yeah, we'll, when we get you, we'll set you on a high pedestal now haven't yeah, we? Yeah we kind yeah, of have. Yeah. Set, set you up there haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I plan well, to get back on the road again? Um, we, yeah, I think so. We get so our contract um this, we're basically, we work, we work as long as the sites are open. Um, but then, as you know, most club sites are closed in the early part of uh, the year, so January through March. So we're hoping to get back on the road. Um, by that point, everybody, uh, or, you know, everyone should be able to get out yep. there again, and hopefully we can get back into Europe again for, for a couple of months. Um, that's the plan traveling. anyway, do a little bit more travelling. Yeah, uh, the, the just, toilets are still closed, aren't they? Someone's just asking. They're still closed. Um, we're, yeah, we're still waiting for. We know as much as you guys do at the moment. Yeah. At yeah. the moment, there's, there's no news coming forward. Um, I know that the the latest news from the club is basically what's on the club's website, which yeah. is that yeah. they're yeah. taking advice on it, and and we know uh, as much as everybody else does. Yeah, yeah. Is that vodka, Bob? No, <laughs> that's not vodka. What, what are your plans afterwards? They know. Obviously, you, is it a, a contract? It's so many it's like months. A, it's like a, it's like we're a, on a ten month. You contract. get you get like a ten right. month contract, and then you get a couple of months off. But halfway through this contract, we then get offered the option of of another contract for the next season. So, yeah. um, and then we can decide. You know, do we want to stay at Troutbeck or do we want to move to a different region? Um, it gives you what well, the one thing about it is it, and the club act really encourages a lot of um, moving around, a lot of experience across yeah. the network. So, going to other sites, working on other sites, learning more. Um, and then eventually you could potentially go for promotion to be a yeah. site manager. So the way it works um, for assistant site managers or site assistant site wardens um, is you do your first year and your second year, and then they they like you to do a third year before you apply to be a manager so that you can actually manage a site of your own. So within three years, if you're willing to put in three seasons, you could then manage your own site. So, I mean, and for yeah. us, we don't, we don't know. We, we're, you know, at the moment, we're, what, like four weeks, three, four weeks in? Yep. But we're really enjoying the job, and we're just going to see where it goes. We haven't got any plans to go anywhere else. No. Um, it still allows us a gap to go travelling as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Isn't that's right. that I mean, you... ironic? Sorry, sorry, Bob. Just to cut in there, just a quickie. Remember when on one of the lives we were chatting, um, 
last year and we were talking about how what you'd like to do you'd like to, to have your own campsite do you remember <laughs> yeah we did yeah that's and that's that's you know that's always been a dream we came around, I was coming around like that. <laughs> yeah. and we never, to be honest with you, we never thought when we came back, it no. was like it was staring us in the face that this is the kind of job we should be doing. Um, because we love the outdoors, we actually, we you know, we're one of those few people that actually like working with people, yep. we're quite people, people if that makes any sense. And and it's a job that allows you to save as well because you think we're living in our motorhome, you live, we're yeah. living currently in our unit, some sites offer accommodation, but you've got no outlays, you know, you've got no bills as such other than food bills because... it's a it's a really good and then and then you get that gap mm. the, between the seasons to be able to go and have a bit of traveling and have a bit of fun um yeah. and then you come back to the next season just yeah. to let me quickly answer this no the website's not broken we, we did take the motorhomes off because we couldn't keep up with demand um what we're starting to do now over the next few weeks we will be starting to put uh motorhomes back on um it was it was just basically we just couldn't keep up sorry about that I think you're a very busy man, then, Jason. Things are oh, things are going nuts. well. It's nuts. So I've got the golden <laughs> ticket, haven't I? Real. Let's face facts. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> he loves it, really. <laughs> right. So one thing we've started to do is we've got Bob's tech. Okay. It's a devious <laughs> plan to talk about tech. So hopefully we get given loads of technical things yeah. to review, into not Bob? Send us loads of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You, you know the funny thing. The funny thing was just before this video went live, I was talking to the chief financial controller, and I was saying, really, we ought to do something about reinvesting some of the money from YouTube. So, <laughs> so, so that's what I've sort of done, and it's not arrived yet, has it? Because we've only just ordered it. But I've ordered one of those little Sony ZV ones. Everyone said, "Oh, you should get a camera, you know, something you can focus with, and that sort of thing." So I've ordered one of those. So that hopefully will go together with the little wireless mics, so the wireless Go Two mics that we got last week. So yeah, so what that's kit? my tech spot, really. But go on. <laughs> what kit do you use then? Can you go through your kit just for people who are thinking of getting into YouTube or thinking of doing any videos or pictures or anything like that? Yeah, sure. Um, Not uh, you. Oh, all right, I'll shut up. <laughs> 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 we don't, you know, we, we can go through ours, Bob, and go through no problem, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can compare and contrast. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> You got to have the comedy set. <laughs> <laughs> so we, better... I'll carry on. Bro. Well, Jason's carry on. recovering. I'll carry on. So we we do we do pretty much all of our filming on one camera. Um, it's a Canon. What do we use? Canon M50. I think so. Which yeah. is just a compact little camera. We've got a couple of lenses on it. A a zoom and a and a relatively close up lens. And um, all got, of our got the microphone. All of our audio is just a Rode <laughs> mini mini mic. Yeah. Yeah. which is great and then the one thing one thing i use which is a i don't know if it's a hack but it's something that i find really useful is i use a monopod so i keep the camera attached to an extendable monopod which means that i can uh, it, when you're moving it around in this sort of fashion it adds a bit of weight to the camera so it stabilizes yeah. it but also it allows you to extend it and actually place it on the floor although he's yeah. an absolute nightmare with it when he's wandering around because to save time he doesn't <laughs> compact it back down again he's swinging this there's, stick there's been a few, a few, few museums in europe where i've whacked a few really expensive pieces yeah. of artifacts that i probably oh, shouldn't no. have no, you've gone quick, move. <laughs> quick run away yeah. quick don't say anything yeah. um and then we use a, a gopro for all of our uh, on the road shots which actually we've got a little vehicle mount and we just yeah. because motorhome is uh essentially you know a fairly smooth surface we just yes. stick it to the roof and yeah, that's yeah. pretty much all we use <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Are you all right now, Jason? I'm all right now. He's recovered now. <laughs> I think Canon, so. Canon's a good camera, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know what? We so when we bought it, actually, we bought what was called because we were we were brand new to mm. YouTube and all this stuff. We bought a, what was called a vlogger kit. So it, it came with it came with a camera. It came with a couple of lenses. It came with a couple of batteries because the M50 is specifically designed for that purpose, and it's got a little. Uh, a little ca a little screen that flips around so you can see yourself and all that. So you can do selfie mode. Um, but it works really well for us. With this, we've used it. All of our videos are filmed solely on that one camera. They are. Yeah. yeah. Bob, um, what camera do you use? <laughs> 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 I mean, I've I've always used the little GoPro. I was started with those little Hero Five Session cameras, tiny little things, so about that big, that, that square, and uh, sort of progressed up to the Hero Eight. But uh, we sort of drew the line at the Hero nine uh it just seemed to have got that much bigger and that much more expensive and it just thought well if i'm going to go that that you know that big with a camera i might as well get something that's 
that size that can do a lot more. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what got me thinking about the uh, the Sony ZV-1. I mean, I suppose the ZV-1 is like a, a step down from a camera with interchangeable lenses, but uh, from going from an action camera to something like that, it's a bit of a leap. So it should be interesting to see how I get on with it. What do you use to edit up with, uh, Sinclair? Uh, we use um, Premiere, Adobe Premiere. Um, yeah. And then we get, uh, so we use Adobe Premiere for editing. We get all of our music from a site called Epidemic Sound. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really good. And actually, one of the most positive things we get on our uh, on our vlogs is the music that we music. use. Yeah. They really yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. signed up for uh, um, uh, for an Epidemic Sounds because I've got a couple of copyright strikes. Thanks to that person over there. Where is he? Over there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, did you use my link for Epidemic? I, I used your link for Epidemic Sound, oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but no, it, it's actually really, really good. And uh, the, the amount of music that's on there, it's unbelievable. All the different yeah. moods and... Yeah, you know. some, of, some of it's very interesting, though. Not yeah, in a good way. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah. I think the good thing is, like, you don't have to... So we were doing filming in Italy and places like that, and we found that you can use music that suits the scene rather than having to fall back on sort of what you would consider to be mm. stereotypical yeah. music for that, uh, for that country. Um, we just thought, you know what, it works. Can yeah. you link into Premiere Pro from Epidemic directly? Um, well, when you've got an Epidemic Sound account, you can you download... Uh, it's what's quite useful is you download each audio file, so you download the song that you want, and then you just import it as an MP3 file. But then when you download it, you, it breaks the song down, so you you get like the bass line, you get the, the you stems, get the, drums, isn't it? You get yeah. the different yeah. things, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can edit it either as one piece of music, or you can kind of put it together in a different way. It's it, it allows you to play around with it, which is really great. Yeah, it gives yeah. you a lot of control, doesn't it, Epidemic? Oh yes, yeah, brilliant! It's brilliant, really um, and you can search by like. This, you can search by time, but there's also genre, and you can also search, yeah. really yeah. By, search by mood. So you can yeah. say, I want a happy tune or a, a chilled out tune or something like that, which I think is really great. Yeah. What's your go to kit? What's your favorite piece of kit? Um, I don't know, really. As for me, it's my camera. I've, I've, always got, I've always got my camera with me. Like, it's my, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's, yeah, I've always got that ready to go, haven't I? Charged up, ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Um, and for yourself, you, you I mean, Mine's all, my phone. So, so I do all the video, and Claire does all of the basically all of the still images that we I do. do on I do all the Instagram, Instagram, images. and things like that. And she uses her phone, and you've got it's uh, what is it now? It's a um, phone, Samsung uh, S twenty Fan Edition, I think yeah. it is. Yeah, uh, same one. With the camera on, that's really, really good. Well, what yeah. color have you got though? Many color options. Uh, well, it's an it's in a white case, but I think it was like the gray Claire. one was the, it's the only one that was available. Claire, yeah. if you want to watch a full review of it, just go to Bob's channel. <laughs> <laughs> so can I do a shameless plug from our end now? Of course you yeah, can. Go on. Go on. Um, go so we discovered when we started our jobs here at Troutbeck that one of the other couples on site, they are actually bloggers too. Yes, we actually live with uh, and our, our fellow assistant site managers are a set of bloggers and vloggers who have a social account. And they are, they are, should I stay or should I tow now? Yeah. And it's Rebecca oh, right. and okay. Stuart with yeah, her Rebecca dog Blue. Stuart. Yeah. So they're, they're yeah. you know, they kind of do the same thing we all do. They travel around, they go to lovely sites, they review things. Um, yeah. They're well worth a follow, actually. They're, they're okay. really great. Okay. Are you, are you still? You're obviously carrying on vlogging whilst you're doing your warden's job. Yeah, Is that so, going to so cause any problems or? No, because we so when we when we joined the club, we approached the club and said, "Hey, we really, you know, it's up to you. we we put it to them. We said it's up to you guys. We'd like to continue doing some stuff, but if you don't yeah. want us to, then fine." Um, and we have been working with their social media guys um, to to allow us to continue yeah. to do some stuff that we will um, be producing for our channel. But then hopefully they'll be able to share through theirs as well. Yeah, right. Oh, that's good. That's good. So there's a tie in there. Have you you're still doing your design work as well? Because oh, I don't yeah. know if people know that uh, Sam designed my logo. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, you and many others as well. Like, it's something I yeah. it's something yeah. I always enjoyed doing. To be honest with you, that that was my original background before we started doing all the traveling as a graphic designer, and still am. Um, and I just keep that going as a as a bit of a sideline. I really, I don't earn any money from it. I just enjoy it. Yeah. Right. So for everybody out there, if you want a free design. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean oh, you know what, what this link. <laughs> it does keeps me out of trouble keeps him busy keeps him quiet keeps me quiet yeah yeah, yeah. keeps you sane yeah bob yeah. it's back to work i think so i was just looking at the time yeah i think back um, to work. we said we're going to try and stick around half an hour aren't we are you paired off to work 
Uh, no, no, we're, we're actually today. off today. We're off on our rotor today, which is quite nice. Although we're gonna we're gonna catch up on our lunch, aren't we? Hopefully, yeah. everyone else has been having their sandwiches while we've been watching this. But yeah, yeah. So that's it then, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You pair, that's thanks it. very much. Keep in yeah. touch as yeah, well. Thank you. Lovely to see you two again. Yeah, great to see you, Jason. Anyway. And Bobby, Bobby, are you coming our way at any point on your way up to Scotland? Are you going to be up we, in our direction? We, we're heading up to Scotland in September, um, but we've booked Troutbeck in November. So if you're still there, we'll we'll catch you then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, and if not, the team here are really great. And uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you'll be sure of a warm welcome. Yeah, that'll be great. So <laughs> look forward to it. I'm just looking forward to getting away. That'd be the good thing. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think everyone is. Same uh, as everybody. Yeah. 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 Waiting for it. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you much, everybody, for watching, and yeah. uh, we'll see you all next week. All right. You take care, everybody. We'll bye see bye. You soon. Thanks. Bye. 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 -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.